point lines and segments. A point is simply a location in space. It does not have a size. When you have a line, it continue, it's straight and it continues in both directions forever. When you name a line, you name it by two points and you put a small line above it. So this would be line R Q. You typically name it by the two furthest points. Now you could name this line R N or line N Q, but you only use two points and you typically choose the one that are farthest apart. Name this line. We would name this line line P S or you could call it line S P. Be sure to put the symbol above it and make sure that there are arrows on both ends. Now this is a line segment because it has two end points. It does not go forever and ever. So the, set, the symbol for this is just a straight line, so in Q. We would read this line segment in Q. You could also call it line segment Q in. This would be line segment M in or line segment N M. Either one will work. Now this is array. Array has one point and one arrow when you draw it. You always draw it facing to the right or pointing to the right with the end point first. So we're starting at N, going through P, and going forever. We call this an end point, but really you can think of it as the point, the beginning point. This would be ray Q, excuse me, ray R Q. We say ray R Q and we mean start it. R, go through Q, and go forever. Now this can be a point at the end, or it can just be plain. This would be ray Q in. This is probably your more confusing one because in the picture it's pointing to the left. But remember, this is just a symbol. You put the end point first, underneath the end point here, you put the end last because that's where you want to say go forever and ever. This would be ray in M. Now you have certain types of lines. When you have two parallel lines, you want to write it like this. Line AB, and you want to learn to use the symbol, is parallel to, and you can remember that because of the two parallel lines here and the two L's here, is parallel to line CD. These are intersecting lines. You would say line FJ, and there's not really a symbol for intersecting, so you would say line FJ intersects line MK. Make sure you're, you're putting your symbols above each one. Now perpendicular lines do have their own. You would say line HR is perpendicular to, and this is the symbol, it's an upside down capital T, so line HR is perpendicular to line DC. Now, this says name a point in the figure. So you could say point M, you could have any of these points would do. But you write the word point and then use capital letters. Name a line, so let's name this line right here. We would say line RQ. We could also name this one line SP. Name a ray with endpoint N, so let's say, how about N R, so we would call this ray N R, you remember put the endpoint first, you could also do N P, N M, N Q, N S, any of those is fine, um, and name two intersecting lines, you would say line S P intersects line R Q.